Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your first half of your June from the 1st to 15th. Um, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So um, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? Also, you guys, I have been posting readings on my TikTok page and my Instagram page. So if you guys are interested in following me on there for more content, uh, the links for those are in the description box below too, okay? So um, tell me about Taurus and love. Tell me about Taurus and love. Over energies for Taurus regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for um, the first half of their June from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Tell me about Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus here. What's going on with Taurus in love? Taurus and love. Nine of Cups here. Um, let's see. Oh, Taurus, this could be indication with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here. Um, it could be indication that you're doing really well on your own. Yeah, you're happy on your own. You know, you're feeding your soul here. You know, you're taking care of yourself. You know, you're giving to yourself right now. So uh, is there anyone in the picture here? You know, perhaps not. Uh, but let's pull some more cards just to take a look here. Four of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is more so, you know, this is this is you creating a strong foundation for yourself. It's taken a long time for you to get here, but I feel like you have to get here without, you know, a distraction of, you know, a lover here. So I do feel like a lot of you guys might have been single for a long time here, just really focusing on your own happiness, focusing on your home, focusing on your pentacles here, with a king of swords here and the two of cups. Interesting. The King of Swords is turned away from the Two of Cups here. So when it comes to a relationship here, a romantic relationship here, you guys are not really interested. I feel like you guys are more interested right now in building that strong foundation, that strong relationship with yourself right now. Okay? So it lets it has led to you, you know, fulfillment, happiness, and bliss on your own here. That's a beautiful thing, you know, Taurus. Nine of Cups here and a Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so Taurus, I feel like you've been through a lot here. Um, an ending in the past or recent past, uh, ending here that it triggered you to really take care of yourself here. Really take care of yourself here. And I feel like you've done really well up until this point here, okay? And I feel like at this point, you just know what is right for you here and what you need here, okay? Four of Wands here and the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles here. You guys are just really focused on your pentacles here. Yeah, just really focus on your pentacles here. Really focus on your work here. Also focus on your hobbies here too, outside of work, uh, uh, Taurus. So uh, I, I get the sense that some of you guys might do a lot of community work. Yeah, um, you know, giving back to the community, helping out the, the community here. The King of Swords here and the Seven of Swords. Two of Cups here and Judgment here. Sagittarius energy. Very interesting. With the Seven of Swords, I'm not really getting a bad vibe here. It's more so that you're in self-preservation energy here, okay? And I feel like you might be coming to a realization that a prior relationship where you got went through a difficult ending here, uh, you know, it maybe gave you that spiritual awakening that you might have been looking for here for yourself. Yeah, it's almost like you kind of like understand or found the meaning of life here on your own. 
you know, not having to be reliant on somebody else here. Um, judgment, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about, there's no one here, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see what's going on here. Tell me about Taurus, the person that Taurus is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus for June, for the first half of their June from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs for Taurus. Okay, King of Cups, King of Wands here. I, I'm feeling that this is more so your energy here, Taurus. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, Five of Pentacles here, and the Six of Swords. It seems like you're still working on, you know, processing some sort of grief, some sort of loss, some sort of painful situation that you went through in the past here. You're still in the process of moving on from it. But like I said, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like you're staying on top of it. You know, I feel like you're giving to yourself right now. Uh, when it comes to love, yeah, you're just really focused on your healing here, Taurus. Uh, there's no one in the picture here. So that is perfectly okay. Uh, just taking care of yourself. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the more that you focus on yourself, that that is when your person will come to you when you least expect it. You know, so a lot of times when you chase, you know, that's when you know things will run away from you so i just feel like you know this is not you know this is just you just just doing you which is really beautiful the king of wands here two of wands king of cups here and the sun yeah you choose happiness you choose happiness here you decided after you went through this horrible ending here you choose happiness you don't choose to wallow in you're suffering, you're, you're hurt here, you're, you're using this uh, experience to empower yourself here. The Five of the Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords here, and the Ten of Cups. You know, it's, it's almost like a, you feel like you know that you're going to be in a relationship at some point in your life here, but I just feel like it's going to take some time. You're not in a hurry here, which is okay. Uh, you know, Taurus is a very methodical energy. You know, Taurus does take their sweet old time. Taurus is not the type that rushes into things here. So this is a really good sign that you are on a really good path here. The Four of Swords here and the Fool card, the Ace of Swords here and the Six of Cups. Yeah, you're still in the process of leaving the past behind here, Taurus. The Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Let's see, what is the outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their love situation? What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for, work on here for the first half of June from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Five of Cups here. I mean, you're definitely going through a lot of changes here too. You know, one of the things is I feel like you're, you are having trouble kind of like having that experience of feeling your emotions here because of, I, see, I feel like some of you guys might be running from it. Um, but I do feel like at some point you guys will face it here. I mean, you can't run forever. I mean, they always catch up to you here. So, you know, I do feel like for now, I mean, you're definitely going through kind of like, you know, a bit of a transitional period here. The five of wands here in the, uh, and the devil. I do feel like there's some sort of unprocessed anger here too, unprocessed emotions here that someone here is running from. But like I said, the stress and anxiety, this uh, maybe the sadness, the suppression, as, at some point you're gonna come face to face with it, you, you know? So yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands here. You know, I just feel like you're focusing on the new beginning here. You're focusing on the potential for prosperity here for yourself. You know, victory and success here when it comes to your money here and your career. Um, five of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles, the Devil here and the Lovers. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you dealt with a very toxic situation here. Whoever this is, someone here might be pinging messages to you, wanting to work things out here with you, but I feel like you're trying to remain strong and just stay on track here. The Nine of Swords here and the Emperor, Aries energy, the Knight of Wands here and the Ace of Wands. So again, could be focusing on starting a new business here. Uh, you know, there's a sense of really leveling up and elevating yourself here, but I, I do feel like you're definitely in this energy of go, going through, you know, this transitional period, this healing period here where there's no one involved here, which is a beautiful thing, okay? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, 
leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.